right, so let's get started with our mobile amplifier. So the first thing we want to do is let's change our measurement system by going down in the corner here and hitting Edit Grid and select Inches. We're going to go with the Imperial system so that way we can do our inches properly. First thing we're going to do is we're going to pull out the whole cylinder and we're going to give it uh, the dimensions of 2.75 by 2.75. So I click the lower right hand corner here and 2.75 by 2.75 and I'm going to give it a height of 4.3. Now that I've got my cylinder here, I'm going to push this out of the way. I'm going to pull out from my tools here, uh, from my options, a whole cylinder. So this is going to be the cutout for our amplifier to expand the music. And this one's going to be slightly smaller than our larger cylinder before. So we're going to do 2.25 by 2.25 and we're going to give this one a height of 4 inches. So now that I have the two here, let's highlight the whole thing. Let's align, use the align tool here and we're going to align the tops of them, the middle on the front and the middle on the side. You should get that effect with it. Once you've aligned them at the top and the middles, we're going to hit the Group tool, or Command-G, or Control-G on your keyboard. And now we have a cup, in essence. Alright, so we have our cup here. And what we're going to do is we are going to tilt it 45 degrees. So when we select our cup here, and I'm going to do it to selection, we have these options to rotate it. And so we're actually going to be rotating it to the side. 45 degrees, and that 45 degrees is a good um, angle for us to project our music out. So now that we have that set up, let's just push this off to the side, and we're going to bring out a box for base for our uh, cone to sit on, our cup to sit on. So let's make the box um, 2.75 inches by 3.25 inches. Okay, so there's our there's our box, and again, those dimensions are 2.35, 2.75 for the depth, 3.25 for the width. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to drag this over our base here. And what I like to do is highlight the whole thing, and we're going to use our align tool again. We want to align the middles so that way, if we look at it this way, the cylinder is aligned appropriately. Okay. All right. So now that we have that, what we have to notice is we have to go underneath and we see that there's this little part hanging out. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to bring out a box. We're going to bring out a box. Let's go back to our home view real quick. And I'm going to bring out a whole box. And I'm going to make that box 2.75, uh, no, let's see, 1.5 inches by 3.15 inches. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a front view here so I'm level with it. And I'm going to use these, this hour right here to lower my box just below the surface. And now that I've got that, I'm going to orbit underneath a little bit, and I'm going to place this over top of my cutout. Now, it looks like the cutout won't fit, so because I've made these dimensions already, what I can do is I can use the rotate tool and simply just rotate the box so it covers the space. Rotate back to the front view so you kind of get a better look at it. Yep, it looks pretty good. It's covered. And so what we want to do is we want to hit Control A or highlight all of our items and we want to group them together. By grouping it, we in essence get rid of the bottom and our cylinder and our base become one. And so now we've got the a good stable base. Now the last thing we have to do is we have to cut a slit in here so we can put our phone in that space. So the first thing you have to do is you have to think about what device you're using. I'm going to be using um, an iPhone XR dimension, so I'm just going to put in uh, specs. And so what we want to record down is this right here. 
So you want to record the dimensions of whatever it is that you choose. So 5.7 inches high by 2.79 inches wide by 0.3 inches deep, or how thick it is. So that's what we want to write down and keep that in the back of our mind somewhere, okay? So write that down, or you can follow along with the iPhone XR that I'm going to do. So heading back to our design here, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to bring out a box. And we're going to want the width here, this bottom number here, to be slightly larger than our depth or whatever the thickness of it is. So I'm just going to put 0.5. And the width should be wider than our cylinder. So I'm going to make this, let's just say, 3 inches. Okay. All right, so now that I have that there, all right, so now that I have that, what we're going to do is I'm going to get a front view going. And I'm actually going to rotate uh, this board 45 degrees the opposite way. I'm going to use my triangle here to lift it up or raise it up off the work plane. And I'm going to drag it roughly into place. Now at this point, I'm going to turn it into a hole. And what I want to do is I want to align these to the central. So I'm going to rotate to the side, highlight everything, and then I'm going to use my align tool. I'm going to want to align this part here. So now that I have that aligned, I can see that it cuts in. And in fact, uh, because of the angle here, I might actually change this a little bit. I like that better. Okay, and we're going to drag this down as far as it will let me go. So that way it sits in there better. Yep, I like that a lot. So now that we have that, we just highlight the whole thing and we group it together. And there's our mobile amplifier. Now you can go in, you can customize, you can add various things around the top, on the sides, you can use all sorts of other items. You can even go to the characters, which is always a fun thing to play around. You can add different effects to it and add it on. Just make sure that you group it when you're all done. And when you are done, we need to export it for printing. So we go up top to export. We want to make sure everything in the design is chosen, and we choose STL. And here it'll ask you where you want to save it, and then you would just simply hit save, and you would upload that to Schoology. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, have fun, customize it, and play some music loud.